specifically tailored to you and something that really gets you energized and feeling full of love mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and vigor in your mm-hmm. life. It's Yuntak time with Akko and Taomo. What does Yuntak mean? It's an Okinawan word from the islands of Okinawa, which means chit chat. We want to invite you to our kitchen table and include you in our chit chat to explore new ways of thinking, to welcome different perspectives. And we want to share ideas on how to love yourself, love your partner, and shower your children with love. This is episode 12. And the topic of the day is Your anniversary is a great time to reflect with your partner. But before we get to that, let's talk about our recent happenings. So, recently we just had our wedding anniversary and we celebrated it by going back to our wedding venue and reminisced about how our wedding was and. Yeah, we walked the grounds and just、uh, looked back at how we planned and how we really, the day came out better than expected.、Mm-hmm. And just to sidetrack a little bit, when we plan for our wedding, of course, wedding planning is quite Very stressful. stressful. Yes, yes, it is. But the way we saw、uh, the wedding planning was we wanted to express ourselves in, in the wedding and at the same time also considering the people that were going to be in attendance. So, really balancing the people attending and expressing ourselves. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I think that came out really nicely. the wedding Venue was an outdoor venue、yeah. in garden. Yes, like an open field、mm-hmm. surrounded by nature. Felt like you were kind of floating up in the air. It was a very beautiful venue. Yeah, and along with that,、uh, we had food trucks, so we did it our way. It was an international food truck. Yes,、right? it、so、was. We had, we had a few food trucks. And we had food from many different cultures, so、mm-hmm, that was、mm-hmm. pretty fun. Yeah, we did. And then we had some outdoor games that the guests can play with.、Mm-hmm. So, it kind of felt like a big picnic, I would、right. say. Yeah, it was, it was really fun. So, we got to do some reminiscing and just spend quite time together. So, that was really nice. That was really nice.、Uh, just the two of us. Our daughter was being taken care of by grandma. So, that was a treat for us. And、mm-hmm. that we were able to really reflect on our relationship the past year and really explore any new possibilities for our relationship.、Mm-hmm. Yep. And similar to that of New Year's resolution, we don't necessarily, we didn't necessarily go for a resolution. But just、uh, taking time to reflect on the past year、mm-hmm, and、mm-hmm. on our relationship. So,、uh, with that said, let's go into more of the topic of the day, which is using the anniversary as a time to reflect with your partner. And the first one that I wanted to share with you was that during the time that I was spending with Akko,、uh, she had mentioned that the relationship was kind of like a garden or something along those lines. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it was really a great analogy to how we see the relationship. And that's seeing the relationship as the fertile soil that both of us are planted in. And so, the more fertile the soil, the Better possibility of growth that we have.、Mm-hmm. And so, the more fertile the relationship is, then it gives each of us much more possibility to grow and flourish as individuals.、Mm-hmm. And by flourishing and growing to our highest possibilities within the relationship, then we can put more back into the relationship, further enriching the relationship, the soil that we both grow in. And so, I thought that was a really great way to see it. And it allowed me to see. The relationship in a much more nuanced way. And so it was a really great time to talk to you during that time. Yeah, no, it was it was great. I'm so glad that we had that time to really talk about everything and how our relationship is, you know, like you were saying, like the whole fertile soil. And now that our relationship is in the fertile soil, all we have to do is occasionally put that fertilizer in, keep watering for maintenance. And it's it's a lot of fun. And, and we were talking about how in the beginning it was, it was a lot of work.、Mm-hmm. We had to put in a lot of work, but Now it's so simple, and we get so much gratification just being with each other.、Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think similarly, just we actually talked about this during the time、mm-hmm. at the wedding venue, which、mm-hmm. was just like、mm-hmm. when a space shuttle launches to escape Earth's gravitational force, it requires a lot of energy to get the space shuttle out of Earth's gravity, the main gravitational pull. And then once you go into orbit, you only require a little bit of fuel and energy to move quite far and smoothly. And I think our relationship was similar, where in the beginning it was a lot of work, it was tough,、mm-hmm. uh, it was a lot of emotion. Emotional labor、mm-hmm. and just really digging into things so that we can understand each other at a deeper level.、Yep. And not only that, to do a lot of personal work, right? Yes. And yes. once you get to a certain point, things become a lot easier.、Mm-hmm. And one unit of energy that we put into our relationship can equal 10, 2, 20, 100,、yeah. even more. It's like exponential. Uh-huh, uh-huh.、Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, thank you for bringing that up. That's a really great point. 
And I love that. Yeah, yeah. And so with that said, we want to share two perspectives that you can take, one looking backwards and one looking forward in the present moment. So you always want to be in the present moment, but being able to look back and reflecting and then looking forward to explore new possibilities. So Akko, if you can share some questions that couples can ask each other, please do. Yeah. So like Tama was saying, one is to look backwards and that's really to reflect on your relationship. And some of the questions that you can ask yourself is, how was the past year? Do the two of you feel you made progress personally and as a couple? And a really easy question to ask yourself daily is, am I happier today than I was yesterday? So that's a very easy question that you can always ask yourself to see, to track yourself. Mm -hmm. And of course, on a daily basis, some days the answer is yes, some days the answer is no. But if you look back a week, a month, three months, six months, a year, five years, 10 years, then you'll start to see where you're at. And if it's trending upwards, hey, you're on the right track. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you notice that it's trending neutral or if it's trending down, then you actually do want to do really deeply reflect on why that is. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. sometimes it's not even the relationship, but it's a personal issue. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is a relationship. And then when things like that come up, being able to talk to each other in a really quantumous, calm way mm -hmm, is a mm -hmm. really fantastic first step. So by asking these questions, even if your happiness is trending upwards, you can accelerate and change that trajectory to even a much accelerated pace of joy and fulfillment mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. happiness. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, you made good points. And so, you know, really ask yourself, like, how was the past year? And really dig deep when you're asking your, yourself this question. And talk about it openly with your partner. If it was a bad year, talk about why it was a bad year and how you could improve it. Mm -hmm. Right. And when this conversation happens, it's not accusatory, right? So you're not accusing your partner of doing certain things or not doing certain things. But you just want to ask with curiosity, without judgment, because this is really an exploratory question. It's just like we're going through a jungle and trying to understand each other mm -hmm. and trying to understand ourselves because the more that we can understand ourselves, the more we can understand each other. Mm -hmm. And the more we can understand ourselves, the more we can help mm -hmm. your partner to understand us. Yeah. And so it just gets deeper and deeper mm -hmm. and the soil becomes a lot more enriched. Yeah. Yeah. And so reflection is a great thing, but moving on to looking forward, exploring new possibilities is also important as well. So you can ask yourself if you had a magic wand, how would you and the relationship progress in the next year for you to feel happy? That's a very important question and a very sometimes hard one to answer because you have to think, what do I need to feel happy? So what am I needing? What am I wanting? to fulfill that and so it's more of a twofold you have to ask yourself personally and then also as a couple exactly i yeah. think that's a great point uh, you want to ask yourself this and then as a couple answer the same question so first of all you can share what you would like to see happen and then you ask your partner the same thing and then find a common ground how can we enrich this soil a lot more so having a vision mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the future and how you want to see yourself grow and as a couple your relationship to grow together so yeah i think that's a great question and it allows you to look up to the relationship and bring a new sense of excitement and energy into the relationship so it's a really great way to create a solid foundation mm -hmm. for the two of you mm -hmm. it's something that you guys could follow and keep track so like you were saying you create that vision and then you can follow that vision throughout the whole year so that you can get to your goal it's kind of like a vision board in a sense mm -hmm. And what is it that you want? Usually vision boards are just what you want personally, right? In the case of a couple, what you want to do is make sure that the foundation of what you both want together is very clear so mm -hmm. that you can grow together. You help each other grow. Mm -hmm. And in the end, that's where it's at. How much can you grow personally in the relationship? So I, I know that Akko, you have a kind of vision for how you want to see growth and maybe you can share that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just to give you an example, my vision is that I want to have a deeper sense of joy and connection with you and to allow ourselves to feel a great sense of freedom and flow emotionally and spiritually, mentally and physically so that we can feel more at ease in our own body, in our own life. So that's one tidbit of my vision. I like to always feel connected with people. I always want to spread joy and happiness to people. So I like smiling at people. Unfortunately, they can't really 
see my smile nowadays because of the mask, but that's one thing that I always love to do. You know, smile at people. If they smile back at me, great. If they don't, that's okay. But just spreading that happiness with a smile, I feel, is something special. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. And I like how it's very expansive. And what you want is pretty much freedom for the both of us. And the more we can find that, can share that with others. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's that's a great share. Thank you. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be this broad. It can be very specific too. Mm-hmm. Like uh, I want to have less arguments, and then talk about how that could happen. And maybe something like uh, what triggers? Yes, you? what triggers you? Mm-hmm. Let's stop saying these words. Let's start saying thank you. Like it could be very simplistic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Appreciation goes a very long way, and that's one thing that we both value. That we feel appreciated, and we always say thank you to each other. Yeah, I think that's a great point. So, like Akko said in the beginning, it can be as simple as hey, let's say thank you more, mm-hmm. or this triggers me. So let's maybe avoid. That or usually triggers are great areas of improvement you mm-hmm. can make personally. So figuring out for yourself why is that triggering me, and then working on that. So yep. yeah, it's it's a really great point. And maybe even more simple is like okay, we want to take one or two more trips a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to spend more quality time with you, mm-hmm. traveling. Right. So it can be from that to very expansive. So it can be anything to be honest with you, because this is your vision mm-hmm. for your relationship. Right. So there's no right or wrong.、Mm-hmm. You do you, and whatever works for you at this time, that's what you want to pursue. And then always continue to revise and grow yourself. And you know, when you grow, you're gonna have a different vision for your relationship, for yourself, for your family. So continue to introspect, and then continue to reflect on the relationship, and continue to grow so that you can have a more and more vision that is specifically tailored to you. And something that really gets you energized and feeling full of love mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and vigor in your、mm-hmm. life. Oh yeah, that's well said. Thank you very much for sharing. So the question is, what questions would you ask when you reflect on your relationship and explore new possibilities? We'd love to hear from you. Please comment on our YouTube channel by searching Yuntaku Time. Till next time, take care. Bye.